Hey guys, Cody here with Anarchy Outdoors again. Um, I got a Ruger Precision Rifle, this particular one's in 6.5 PRC here in front of me. Uh, it's a great gun, one we use for uh, you know long range uh, night hunting. It's great on hogs, great on uh, coyotes. Um, but today we're not focused on that. Today we're focused on some frequently asked questions we've been getting on these Ruger rifles. And a lot of that has to do with the bolt shroud, how it should fit, how it should feel. Uh, obviously every gun's a little bit different. Um, the Ruger rifles are kind of known for some sloppy tolerances here and there. So we just want to show you exactly how the bolt shroud should fit on this rifle. Uh, and uh, maybe if you do slip and it goes past, um, some, some have told us past the point of no return. However, there is a point of return. We'll show you that here in a minute. Um, but let's just kind of walk through that and hopefully this video really helps you guys understand how that shroud should fit. If it's too tight, if it's too loose, you should be able to know that after this video. Perfect, so we have the bolt out of the gun here. Um, so obviously I have the shroud installed already. Um, let me just take it off. Um, so if we get the shroud, when you purchase it from us, obviously you're gonna take it off just how I did that. Kind of did that fashion, just gonna turn it so this lines up with the back of the handle. Um, and then that bolt's just, the bolt shroud's just gonna pull off. Now if you watch me closely here, this is how the new bolt shroud should go on. It should go on just as easy. You're gonna put it on, sometimes you gotta wiggle it just a hair to get it to seat. Now once it seats there, you're just gonna turn and you're gonna hear that click. Now that's how it should go in. It wasn't hard for me to do. Don't put it in a vise. If it's too tight, it's too tight and we can work with it. Um, like I said, there's tolerance issues. A couple of the tolerances that we've seen, if we measure, the distance here, sometimes this distance on this collar is a little bit too wide, which then allows it, when we put this shroud on, it, it's kind of catching and you can't get it on the whole way. Um, now if that's the case, uh, let's modify the shroud. Okay, give us a call, shoot us an email. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna take some material off the inside of that, uh, which is then gonna allow this to slide on. Um, now if this slides on perfect and you go to turn it, uh, and it's maybe a little tight here and you can't get it to click into that spot real well, then it tells us we got something going on with the firing pin or with this firing pin back. Now this firing pin back is this kind of triangular looking piece here. Obviously uh, we sell a, another company's uh, firing pin back that they've made. It's, uh, they machine it out. Uh, it's a great upgrade. It's called the 80 Arms caulking piece. You can look it up. Um, it's a great upgrade there. They hold it to very tight tolerances. Um, uh, it's, it's just going to help go on. Sometimes we've seen this overall diameter here, uh, that be too big, which then will allow it not to go in the hole on the shroud. Um, we've kind of seen the tolerances all over here. We've, we've been doing this for, uh, what, four, almost five years now, making this shroud. We've, we've tweaked it uh, as much as we possibly can to get it to fit the most amount of rifles. Now this will go on just like that and click on to over 99% of people's rifles. Now, if you happen to be in that 1%, hopefully this video has kind of helped you understand what it should feel like. Now, obviously this is a Ruger Precision Rifle. We also do it for the Ruger American Rifle, and it's the exact same concept. Literally, chop this right there, it's almost gonna look the same, right? Um, same fitment, same fill, same install. It should be exactly like that. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, but hopefully that will really help you. Uh, be able to know exactly how that shroud should feel and fit on your rifle um, and reach out with any questions. Perfect, so we've got that put back in the gun. Um, just wanted to point out too, obviously with any new part, it may need to be broken in just a little bit. Uh, to do that, just put a tiny bit of gun oil on that collar um, and then just lift up and down on this bolt handle. Um, what that's gonna do is just kind of rub that around just a little bit um, and it'll help break it in. And now with any of these parts, the more you use it, the smoother it's going to get. Um, we've designed it to make it as smooth as we can out of the box, um, but it will require maybe a little bit of break-in depending on your rifle, um, as every rifle is just a hair different. So uh, don't worry about that. Get it, get it working well for you. Reach out to us if you have any questions. Um, hopefully this video helped. And always check out our website, anarchyoutdoors.com. Um, we always got new products on there. And uh, reach out to us if you have any questions or want us to do any videos.